We add a cylinder to our scene and here in this menu we change the number of vertices to 24. And the filling type, nothing, that is, nothing. And we see that our cylinder is now empty, that is, there is nothing there. If by some chance, before changing these values, we click the mouse somewhere here, then how can we return it again and change these values? The F9 key on our keyboards will save us. And here we can call up this menu again and change the values we need. Go to object mode and zoom in as needed. Select the lower vertices. S key on our keyboards and taper the bottom without using any axes. If we add some kind of axis, then it will be scaled not in a round form, but in an oval form, that is, in relation to some axis. Therefore, we do not add an axis when scaling. Now let's add edges, Control R and press 11 at once. That is, we indicate how many edges we want to add. Enter again to secure the location of our ribs. Now let's add more polygons. Plain display mode, turn on faces. Here we click and select poke faces and we see that we have added these diagonal cross edges. Now let's remove the unnecessary stuff. Let's select a couple of these diagonal edges. Switch to edge display mode. Select a couple of edges. Now shift G and we see that here we have select similar or select similar. We select those that are similar in length and we see that we have all the diagonal edges selected. We hold down Ctrl I, that is, this reverse selection occurs. Everything that was not selected is highlighted. And now Ctrl X we delete everything that we don't need. We got some artifacts. We can delete them. We do delete edges and see that everything is now normal. Again, using a familiar technique, we select our oblique ribs. Switch to face display mode. We need to press I and I again, that is, twice I twice insert, this means that we need to press each individual face. Enter and now X on our keyboards, we delete edges. This is the kind of basket we have. Here you can, of course, modify the artifacts that we have here. Use the F key to select three edges, press the F key and fill it in. Again, select the edges, press F and fill. Now select the bottom vertices and extrude slightly inward. Keys E and S. Now you can extrude a little upward along the Z axis. And the last thing we will do with our bottom is fill the remaining void. Now in transparent mode we select our top vertices. In transparent mode, I remind you that it is displayed along the entire perimeter, and not just on the side closest to us. And also the keys E and S and extrude outward. Look. And now the final touch, adding modifiers. 
The first modifier we will add is the solidify modifier. Now in the new interface, try to find it. Just search, solidify. In principle, this is enough. Another modifier we will add is subdivision surface. Let's do something like this, to make it more round. This is how we got the basket. 